Also on Kauai, another marathon meeting. City council members, the mayor, and hundreds of concerned Garden Isle residents met for over 12 hours today. But did they reach a decision on that key bill that would label GMOs and regulate pesticide use? KITV Force Paul Drews has more. Now she can't conceive. As expected, the meeting brought out people passionate about passing the bill. All right, what are you guys waiting for? Are you waiting for these companies to be able to hide more stuff from us? Meanwhile, life is passing and health is being compromised? What? <laughs> My God, please. Under the current version of the bill, a commercial company would be required to disclose what pesticides it used and to also provide buffer zones around sprayed areas. After months of working on this measure, some council members felt tonight was the time for action. But again, Mayor Bernard Cavallo asked for a deferral because he had been in discussions with state agencies and the governor over a plan for all of Hawaii. Give me the little time so I can get more, more clarification for, on our side, and then we go. That's all I'm saying, because once the bill passes, then uh, it becomes automatically our responsibility. Rather than worry about the details of how a bill would be implemented and enforced, a number of residents felt their health could not wait any longer. We're talking about pesticides and poisons here. What's the difference between those and chemical warfare? Because I tell you, there's a warfare that's going on. They're poisoning our aina. I believe in the democracy. I believe in the Declaration of Independence and uh, Constitution. And how can five corporations who claim to be people overrule thousands of people who object? You know, is this a democracy or what? Five corporations rule the world. After much debate over amendments and key points, the council also had a pointed question for the mayor. If we choose not to defer and choose to pass it into law tonight, would you then go with us tomorrow or the next day, like I described, and meet with the governor and meet with Director Kokobun and meet with the community for that matter and say, how do we make this better and better and better? We have a bill. We need your support. We need the state support. Would you do that? Well, the mayor said that he would support that decision. But this decision is not over yet. Even after 13 hours of testimony and debate, council members took a break just moments ago before they begin to hammer out any amendments. But the council chair has repeatedly said he wants a vote tonight on the bill that was passed out of committee. Back to you.